unlike traditional TV channels, Netflix doesn't rely on Nielsen to determine its ratings. Any numbers come straight from Netflix itself. What's more, its own standards just drastically changed. For a while, Netflix only counted a view if somebody watched at least 70% of a movie or episode. Now, however, according to its 2019 fourth quarter earnings statement, a view gets counted after just two minutes of viewership. Whatever the standard, Netflix just recently released legitimate figures regarding their most popular content. Here now are the top 15 most popular Netflix releases of 2019. This women's prison dramedy has long been synonymous with Netflix, but after seven seasons, we finally have solid numbers to prove just how popular Orange is the New Black actually is. Netflix reported that viewers watched at least two minutes of any episode 105 million times this past year, making it by far the most popular bit of content the streaming giant offers. Perhaps more people watched that year because season seven was the show's last, but the adventures of Piper and Friends was a household name long before that, so it was never a rating slouch. But it sure seems like more people turned into bid their jailbird friends a fond farewell. Judging by The Witcher's runaway success, more people are tuning in than just fans of the books and video games. Geralt and Yennefer's epic and violent journey has hooked millions of people, itching for both a great spiritual successor to Game of Thrones and a great story, period. Witcher delivers both in droves. As a result, Netflix reports 76 million views of the show this year. For a show with a single eight-episode season, that's pretty incredible. While we don't know when season two will come out, it had started filming in early 2020, but it's been delayed indefinitely for the same reason everything's been delayed indefinitely. But when it does, the fans will be ready to take in every new sword fight, magic spell, crazy monster, and lovingly awkward thing Jaskier does. Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston have delivered a box office smash together before with 2011's Just Go With It, so it makes sense they deliver streaming gold as well. They did just that with Murder Mystery, the most popular Netflix original film of 2019. Sandler plays his typical slacker goofball character, this time as a guy who lies to his wife about being a detective and so is forced to solve a murder mystery he knows nothing about in a country he knows nothing about. Did it break new cinematic ground? Not in the least, but with 73 million views, it's clear that new ground isn't always necessary to entertain millions. Who knew that otherworldly monsters and 80s nostalgia was such a winning combination? Netflix certainly did, as Stranger Things quickly became one of the most iconic shows on the entire network. If nothing else, Ego can thank the show for reminding the world that frozen waffles still exist. The third season of Eleven and Company's fight against the monstrous inhabitants of the Upside Down drew in more viewers than any season before it. According to Netflix, 64 million people tuned in for season three. It takes an incredible story to reel in new fans three seasons in, but Stranger Things has done it. Like with Witcher, and just about every other show in existence, we have no clue when another season will surface. When it does though, millions of people will be there to experience the one and only acceptable form of Stranger Danger. Ben Affleck and Oscar Isaac bring all the folks to the theatre, and they also bring them to Netflix. Their 2019 action film, Triple Frontier, was a major success story, bringing in over 63 million views this past year. Their characters weren't the nicest people, ex-soldiers out to steal millions from a drug lord and to give the money to, well, themselves. But their roguish charm won over tens of millions of viewers, proving yet again that just because you're an A-list Hollywood celebrity doesn't mean you're above showcasing your art anywhere but the cinema. Every generation needs a feel-good teen romantic comedy or 10, and that's where The Perfect Date comes in. The story of a kid who continually lies and pretends to be someone he's not in order to get dates and hopefully get into a good college clearly resonated with viewers. It pulled in 48 million views this past year, which is really good for both a fairly predictable rom-com and really good for a Netflix show, period. The streaming giant made a good choice picking this one up. 
Sandra Bullock delivered one of the creepiest movies in recent memory with Bird Box, the story of an apocalyptic future where people can't go outside without blindfolds lest they see a mysterious force that prompts them to kill themselves, resonated with millions of people months after it premiered. Bird Box was released in 2018, albeit in December. Still though, for a 2018 release to garner an incredible 45 million views in 2019 is a testament to how incredible the film actually is. Either that, or each year people become increasingly convinced the world is ending, and so we might as well watch movies to learn how to survive. Finally, we find another popular series after so many popular movies, The Umbrella Academy, about a family of superheroes all adopted by the same millionaire as they strive to solve the mystery of his murder and prevent the end of the world. They're busy, is what we're saying. Over 45 million views made Umbrella Academy one of the top new shows on all of Netflix and guaranteed a second season. Luckily for fans, filming for season 2 wrapped up in November 2019, meaning new content could be arriving anytime. Netflix hasn't announced exactly when though, presumably because they like to leave us guessing. Obviously not everything on Netflix is in English. Only one foreign show, however, cracked the top 15. That would be La Casa de Papel, otherwise known as Money Heist. The series tells the story of two major bank heists as told through the eyes of a woman named Tokyo. Simply by featuring a woman as the main narrator, it deviates from most other heist shows before it. The fact that you can't trust a single thing she says simply makes it more fun to hear her tell her story. Plenty of people agree, as 2019 saw Money Heist garner 44 million views. 2020 is likely to be just as good since season 4 premiered this past April and is already garnering rave reviews. Tall Girl is about exactly that, a tall girl. A high schooler standing over 6 feet tall learns to love and appreciate herself amongst all the inevitable teasing. Does she wind up with the shy, nice boy who secretly has a crush on her? We're not telling, probably because we don't need to and you already know how this story ends. Predictability aside, Tall Girl proved quite successful for Netflix in 2019, drawing in 41 million views. They likely weren't all tall girls, but many of them were likely people who could relate to the movie's theme of not fitting in and choosing to be yourself instead. Bonnie and Clyde are world-famous gangsters, but what about the lawmen who tracked them down and gunned them to bits? The Highwaymen concerns them. The combination of a beloved story like Bonnie and Clyde plus the star power of Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson drew around 40 million views for the film. Considering they'd been trying to get the movie made for 15 years, such numbers proved the patience was worth it. Originally a Lifetime series, You picked up steam immensely once it made the move to Netflix. The story of a quiet bookstore employee who moonlights as a creepy stalker, obsessive boyfriend and psychotic murderer has resonated with tons of people more interested in nightmare fuel than the feel-good hit of the summer. In 2019, You garnered roughly 40 million views. Its second season, released in December of that year, did even better with 54 million views in its first month. That's good to remember for the 2020 version of this list. You has been greenlit for a third season, though when it arrives, it's anybody's guess. Even Joe, with all his books and methods of discovering private information, can't possibly know that one. If you're a shy teen and your mother is a sex therapist, that's only going to make life extra awkward. The show, Sex Education, explores such a dilemma, and it's proven super relatable even though we're guessing not many people have a sex therapist for a mum. After the show's premiere in January 2019, Netflix recorded around 40 million views for season 1. Obviously, they greenlit a second season, which premiered in early 2020. We're not yet sure how many views the new season will garner, but since it's still awkward for a kid's mum to be a sex therapist, we imagine it will resonate quite well indeed. Secret Obsession is Netflix's version of a critically penned movie that audiences eat up anyway. The story of a woman with amnesia who slowly realizes her husband is, no spoilers here, something else entirely isn't the most revolutionary plot ever. It's currently sitting at 31% on Rotten Tomatoes, but 40 million viewers embraced it anyway, making it one of Netflix's most popular films of 2019. I guess there's never a bad time for munching popcorn while watching the bad guy get his comeuppance. 
it took Netflix years to release its first original documentary, but in 2019 it did just that with Our Planet. The documentary's chief angle is how humans affect the planet, particularly how we've severely impacted it through years of climate change. This hot-button topic drew people to the documentary as Our Planet garnered over 33 million views in 2019. Of course, hiring the immortal David Attenborough to narrate the whole thing certainly didn't hurt, nor did getting Selma Hayek and Penelope Cruz to narrate the Spanish-speaking versions. If anyone's going to get Netflix viewers' attention regarding climate change, it's those three.